Welcome, my friends. We will join together in today's practice, seated at the back of your mat, hips to heels, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll move right into a wide knees child's pose. So open your knees as wide as the mat or as wide as feels comfortable in your body today. And just slide your palms forward, melting your heart, your torso down through center. Ground your forehead. And just take a slow, gentle rock of your forehead side to side. Slow, steady breaths in. Slow, steady breaths out. Feeling yourself arrive here in body, mind, and spirit. Letting the outside world go. We're here in your safe, sacred space on the mat. Find stillness and just surrender and release. So we walk your palms back to rise. Let's bring your heels in, fingertips to the mat, fan your feet wide. We are coming into hero pose. So you want your feet fan open enough so your sits bones can sit back in space. Just take a moment to make sure your knees are in line with your hips before you sit back. You can also remove the uh, flesh of your calves out, spinning them outwards before you sit down. This is option one. Option two is if you have a block, if this is, if you feel any tightness, tension in your knees, you can sit up on a yoga prop. And then bring fingertips behind you, lowering yourself back as far as feels comfortable. Palms back, forearms are fully reclined back. Whenever you find your variation, go ahead and lift your hips, lengthen your tailbone to the space between your knees and return your sits bones to the earth. We'll just hold this for a few breaths. The waves are pretty loud today, so I will try to talk a little louder than what I normally do so you can hear me over them. Whichever variation you have moved into of our hero pose, mindfully make your way back up. Turn fingertips to the mat. Breathe in, lower your belly, lift your heart. Cow pose. Exhalation round through into cat. Hollowing out, looking into yourself. Feeling the body out. Find your neutral spine. Tuck your toes and lift your hips. Keep a generous bend in your knees here in your downward facing dog. Fingertips are spread nice and wide. Pressing down through your knuckles, your fingertips, your in your chest, towards your thighs. Lengthen tailbone to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Yearn your heels to the earth here. And then bend into your knees a little bit more and then launch yourself forward coming into plank pose. Use the muscles of your pelvic floor to lift up, downward facing dog, keeping your legs straight. We're gonna flow between our plank pose and our downward facing dog. And each time you flow back into down dog, move a little deeper into the pose. Oh. Johnny boy shaking it off, getting me nice and wet, cooling me up, huh, buddy? Sink your breath with the movement. Breathing in as you launch forward into plank pose. Exhaling as you sink back into down dog. And 
the last time I'll meet you in downward facing dog. On the inhale, extend your right toes up to the sky for three leg dog. Exhale, step your foot through. Soften your back knee to the mat. We are coming into a low lunge. So ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle not going past. And then on your inhalation, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Low lunge. Scissor your thighs. Hips are square to the front of the mat, feeling your shoulders square to the front of the mat. Exhalation, lower hands to bring your front foot, tuck your back toes, press up, and then straighten your front leg coming into pyramid pose. Ground down to the mound of your front big toe, and square your left hip up towards the front of the mat as the right slides back. Nice long spine here. Slowly bend back into your front knee. Lower your back heel to the mat at a 45 degree angle. We are preparing for a warrior one pose. Ensure that your feet are on two separate tracks. And then when you're ready, we'll sweep your fingertips up to the sky for our high lunge. Everything is square to the front of the mat. Bring your palms to kiss. Press and fuse your palms together. Big breath in, get tall. And on the exhalation, lower your hands, your prayer behind your head. Keeping with the intention of pressing and fusing those palms together, strengthening the pose. Breathing as you hold, lift your heart, press and fuse those palms together. keeping your upper body just as it is. Back heel pops up, bend into your back knee, step to the front of the mat, reach your fingertips up to the sky, continuing to really press and fuse those palms together. Feeling that trembling, subtle movement, but strengthening those arms. Heel to your feet in to kiss. We are coming into chair pose, so keeping those palms fusing together, sit those hips back in space, and as you do this, lower prayer to heart center. Fusing together. Lengthen tailbone to the back of the mat. Lengthen up the crown of your head. Sink those hips a few inches lower. Press, fuse those palms together. Lower a few more inches. And then dive it forward. Forward fold. Heel to your feet a little wider hip distance. Let your upper body release and let go. Stillness or finding movement. Breathing in and breathing out, letting go. Find stillness, hands frame your foot, step your left foot back, lower your left palm to the mat, inhale your right fingertips up to the sky for a twist. Draw your left lower rib towards that thigh. That top shoulder blade gliding down your back, creating space between shoulders and ears. Beautiful, circle that top arm to the mat. On your inhale, three leg dog. Exhale through plank pose, breathe in. You can take a single leg plank pose or lower to the mat for full plank pose, your body's choice, and take a flow. I'll meet you in Downward Facing Dog. Take a moment in your Down Dog to breathe it out. Reconnect body and mind. Before I stepped on the mat, Adam asked me if I thought it was Christmas time. With my red yoga pants green top, I had a 
blue top on, a uh, long sleeve top on, but it was too warm once we came out here. All right, let's take that flow to the second side, my friend. Inhale your left toes up to the sky. Three leg dog. Exhale, step your foot through. Soften your back knee to that. Ensure your front knee is in line with your ankle. Not going past. And when you're ready, we'll circle your fingertips up to the sky. Low lunge. Lower hands to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes. Press up, and then we'll straighten your front leg. Square your hips up, energetically drawing your right hip forward. Ground down to the mound of your front big toe. Long spine here. Hmm. So we bend back into your front knee preparing for our warrior one. So lower your back heel to the mat at a 45 degree angle. Ensure your feet are on two separate tracks. And when you're ready, sweep your fingertips up to the sky on your inhale. That right hip is sliding forward, helping to square up to the front of the mat. Shoulders are square. That lower belly's firming up and in. Bring your palms to kiss and really press and fuse them together, activating your arms. <sighs> Breathe in, lengthen up. On the exhalation, lower your hands behind your head, pressing and fusing the palms together. Nice and strong, feeling those arms activated. Lift your heart. Stay strong in your lower body. Breathing as you hold. Keeping your upper body just as it is, pop the back heel up. Bend into your back knee to step to the front of the mat. Breathe and reach your fingertips up to the sky, pressing and fusing your palms together. Hmm. Heel toe your feet in to hip distance. Palms squeezing together, sit your hips back in space for chair. Lower hands, prayer to heart. Lengthen tailbone to the space behind you, the back edge of the mat. Lift your heart, sink your hips, fuse those palms together. Feel those palms pressing into one another, uniting. Sink the hips a little bit lower. And dive it down, loosen it. Forward fold, heel to the feet, hip distance. Mm, release the body. Feel the sensations in the upper body as you release your palms. Finding movement or holding in stillness, whatever is calling to your body. Just move with the intuition of your body. ahead and rock your head front to back, side to side, releasing tightness and tension from fusing those palms together, cultivating that strength, maybe in circles, both directions. Hands frame your feet, and we'll step your right foot back, ground your right palm, and on your inhale, extend your left fingertips up to the sky. Draw your right lower rib cage towards the front thigh. Top shoulder blade gliding down your back. Reach back through that back heel, strong lower body. Circle that top arm down. We'll inhale your left toes up to the sky, three leg dog. And take your flow. Remember you can take a single leg plank pose or just a full plank pose. Chaturanga to up dog. 
I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Breathe it out here. In your downward facing dog, take any feel good movements. This is the final down dog of our practice. Let's soften your knees to the mat and flow through some feel good cat cows on your own. Not worrying about what the typical cow looks like, just finding what feels good in your body, exploring the two variations. Find your neutral spine, bring your feet off to one side, bring them out in front of you, and let's take a butterfly pose. Soles of feet kiss. Just, just move in a way that feels good to your body. Inhalation, rise up. Come to a comfortable cross leg seated position, sitting up nice and tall. What? Yeah. He's telling me something about a bird. Let's breathe and circle your fingertips up to the sky. Exhalation, draw your elbows back, lift your heart. Getting a stretch into your shoulders. Lower your left palm, right arm up and over, side body stretch. Breathe in, lift up to center, side body stretch, second side. Breathe in, lift up to center, big breath in. Open your arms wide. Exhalation, lower them down. Big breath in, circle your fingertips up, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Bring thumbs to your sternum. Sternum reaching up to your thumbs, feeling that love and light within. And take a moment to thank yourself for carving out that time to stretch your body, to strengthen your body, to connect with your body. Thank your body for all that it does for you each and every day, from head to toes. I'm sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. If you enjoyed, leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you hop away if you've been following us for a while and you've been enjoying the practices. That way it'll make sure that you get their latest yoga love releases released each week. Have a beautiful rest of your day, my friend. I hope to join you on the mat again soon. So much love from my heart to yours.